Hello there, I'm back. I haven't posted any videos for a while because I decided to do nothing over Thanksgiving. There's lots of family in town, so it's just done. Didn't work too much at all. Anyway, so I'm going to read out two emails actually because they're on the same topic and they were emailed to me one after the other, which is a huge coincidence. Anyway, so first one. Hello Tabitha, my name is Genova. You know I'm not very good at pronouncing names, so I hope I got that right. I'm 16 years old and I struggled with and struggled with anorexia for two years. I've committed to full recovery for almost three months now. I really need your help because I'm afraid I'll relapse when my period returns. It hasn't yet, however, I fear that when it comes, it will mean that my body is already healed and that I won't need to eat as much as I'm doing at the moment, which is in brackets she's put, which is something I absolutely loving, honestly preach sugar and fat close brackets my doubt is should i control my food once my period returns like eating a bit more healthier or whatever whatever how not to view my period as um unvalidation to eat well if you eat less because you got your period if you eat less than you really want to that's restriction if you're in recovery, you should be committed to not restricting. So that's how you sort that out. It is a choice to allow yourself to freak out about the fact that you got your period. It is a choice for you to believe those thoughts that tell you, oh, now I've got my period. I don't need to eat as much food because my body is obviously completely recovered. It is a choice to believe that thoughts that tell you, now that I've got my period, I can't trust my hunger anymore. All of those things are choices. So the way that you sort that out is you don't make the choice to be a moron and you don't make the choice to believe your eating disorder. And it's so much easier than you think it is. Okay, so the second email, I forgot to write down this person's name. Um, but anyway, whomever they are, they wrote, I just got my period back after not having it for about three months. Does this mean that I'm weight restored? Or do I still need to continue eating lots of food in order to get better? Open brackets. It may or may not be my actual period. It might be spotting, but it's still something. Well, what do you think? Do you think that getting your period means that you're weight restored? Listen, weight restoration is not like this, this single thing. Weight restoration is not getting to some target weight that some idiot in a white coat read out of a book. Weight restoration is not one single thing like your period getting back. Weight restoration is what happens when you don't have an eating disorder anymore. You don't have any disordered thoughts. There are all these mental state changes. Weight restoration is when you don't have any anxiety around food anymore. Weight restoration is when someone can say to you, let's go out for coffee and cake. And you're like, yeah, sure, chill, whatever. And you're not even thinking about what you already ate that morning. Weight restoration is when food is not emotional for you anymore. So I don't give a shit if you've got your period back or not. If you're still freaking out because someone else do, asked you out for coffee and cake, if you're still under the weight that your body is supposed to be, if you're still suppressing your body weight, if you're still meticulously counting calories, if you're still obsessively exercising, if you still are behaving as if you have an eating disorder, you still have an eating disorder, regardless of what your weight and also, don't let yourself believe that it's only you have to be stick thin to have an eating disorder. That's not true. You can be underweight at any weight. If you're suppressing your natural body weight, then you are under the weight that your body is supposed to be the end. I don't care what the BMI charts say. I don't care if your doctor says to you, you're a healthy weight now. I don't care. Your body gets to decide when you're at a healthy weight and you will know because your mind will relax around food. You will have less anxiety, less emotion, and things will start becoming easy breezy again. And so all of our bodies are different. We know that, right? Can everybody agree on that, that all of our bodies are different? Can we at least agree on that? And I've known some bodies that never lose their period at all, even at hideously low weights. I've known some bodies that, that lose their period at the blink of not eating a cheese sandwich. So all of our bodies are different. You can't um, judge your, your state of health, your state of recovery on whether or not you have your period. And I know that for most of you, 
you know that because you've listened to that message again and again and again. And that is why it really is a choice for you to believe those eating disordered thoughts of, well, now I've got my period, so therefore I must be weight restored and therefore I can't trust my hunger anymore. Because listen, if your body is saying to you, I need more food, guess why that is? It's because your body needs more food. And so you never judge that. You never decide that, oh, my body's wrong actually today. I got my period. So despite the fact that my body is telling me that I need more food, I'm going to ignore that because like I got my period. What, what are you doing? Come on, people. We're smart. Humans are smart. I do believe it. So start acting smart. Listen to your body. All you need to know is if you're hungry, you eat more. It doesn't matter what else is going on, period, no period, whatever. It doesn't matter if, like, I'm fully recovered. And if I'm hungry, I eat more food. That's for life. It's not just for when you're super thin, okay? Unrestricted eating is for life. The end. Bye.